welcome to the Outlet Podcast channel. My name is Gazy. I'm the host of the Outlet Podcast, and you can listen on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, and Blueberry. So, you guys, uh, this is going to be an uh, like another vlog story of how I met her. Her is my wife. Uh, I have a, I have a lot of stories, and I would urge you check out check out all the other stories. Some are entertaining, some are sad, but they all ended up with her saying yes. So. Um, okay, there's this one time that, okay, so this was during the date, not, this was like during the, I want her to get her, I want to get her to like me. This was during that time. So when I was trying to get her to like me, one of the things that I did was that, um, I had a, I decided to make a scavenger hunt. So my father was in Costa Rica. My father was uh, going to see his family and stuff in Costa Rica, and I was in charge of the company. It, this was a day that the company didn't need my services. I just dropped off my employees. So on this one day, I was like, you know what? What? What would? What could I do to get her attention? And all of a sudden, the idea came in my head: plan a scavenger hunt and invite all of our friends. So I did that. I, I was like, okay, plan a scavenger hunt. That sounds great, but where am I gonna? Oh, sorry. Chap lips, uh, non-paid sponsor. Chapstick, not paid sponsor. Oh, snap! It's so bright. It's so bright. It's so bright. Okay, so um, oh, the lighting doesn't. Does it look too good? It doesn't look so good. I'm sorry, guys. It's uh, four in the afternoon right now. So. What happened was I already knew that I wanted to do a uh, scavenger hunt, but I didn't know where. Well, I was like, okay, where is a cool place we can all get together and like me and a bunch of friends, mutual friends, and we can do this thingy. Then all of a sudden, downtown Disney. So I dropped off my employees and I started to connive this plan. And so I get to downtown Disney. I'm like, all right. So what I what I should do is, if it's a scavenger hunt, then they need to find some stuff. But how can I how can I hide anything in mm, how can I hide anything in Disney? And I was like, well, why why do I need to hide anything? Why don't I make it like a landmark hide and go seek or like a landmark scavenger hunt? And all they had to do was. Um, was like solve a riddle so this was around Easter time and what I did was that I started to like I bought a bunch of eggs a bunch of fake plastic eggs right and in the eggs I printed out like two sets I, I decided to split the teams apart so I had one like every team had the same riddles but they were in different orders so, and the, the orders were like, I numbered the eggs, so they had to answer the, so that way they wouldn't like, like, you know, mix. So what I did was that I was like, all right, let's have, uh, okay. I made the riddles and they all had the riddles and they had to find the, the, the landmark or whatever it was that I knew was going to be there. See, I couldn't like drop something off and expect it to be there because someone would pick it up or the security would call. Uh, so what I did was that I was like, all right, you guys, um, just take a picture of whatever it is or so take a picture of the landmark or solve the verbal riddle and send me a text message with the picture or the riddle. So I was like, yes, I found a way to do it. So the, the everything was set. All I needed was friends. I start, I set up a Facebook page and on the Facebook page, I called like, I was like, all right, this is a scavenger hunt, ska, ska, scavenger, scavenger, scat, scatterbrain, scatterbrain. Oh, so, um, uh, that's what I like, since it was like a scatter because I scatterbrained, it was like a crazy thing in my head, a crazy idea. So I said scatterbrain and I found this picture of a crazy looking rabbit because what I wanted to do was I needed to theme it. So it was Easter. So I was like, all right, for Easter themed scavenger hunt, I'll have a crazy looking rabbit. But I had just seen Willy Wonka's chocolate, the uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with uh, Johnny Depp. 
Uh, people say it wasn't that good, but I liked it. I, I, I think uh, Johnny Depp is a really great actor. And, I mean, everyone can be like, oh, he's playing the same character. Jack Sparrow is the same as, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the dude. Let's see. Jack Sparrow is the same as uh, um, this guy in Alice in Wonderland. And that dude, the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland, is the same character as... Um, Who's uh, like Edward Scissorhands because it's the same type of kooky or whatever. And I was like, come on, man. Johnny Depp is an amazing actor. I sidetrack. So I was like, all right, I'll be I'll be the mascot. So what I did was that I uh, I had this really nice velour jacket. Uh, I, no, I think it was velveteen. I think it was a velveteen. It was like I got it at a boutique and uh, ever since I, like now I don't fit it anymore. I gave it to a friend. It's a very suave jacket. A very, it's like this um, maroon, purple, velveteen, or like very nice velour jacket. Like it's one of the very great jackets. So what I did was I bought a top hat from the party store when I was getting the eggs. Um, I got so I got the plastic eggs. I got this top hat. On top of the top hat, I bought. Uh, pink rabbit ears because the jacket was purple maroonish so i was like all right i'll make him like a suave i'll make a suave uh mascot like he's like he's kind of cool like he's not not in a bunny suit you know oh snap no wonder so there was an accident here so he had so i made so we had this i had this like top hat pink bunny ears like pushed into the top hat pushed into the top hat and then what I had these pink goofy Google well okay there were pink 60s flower child glasses they were like big but they were like pretty like cool so I had those right then I bought some black gloves like maitre d gloves bought some black gloves I bought a cane and on the end on the tip of the cane not the the tail the butt end but on the tip of the cane I put a plastic egg so I cut a hole in the plastic egg put that on the end so I had like this like cane that was pretty cool then I added a uh, what did I add I, I added I added um, I had this like pink striped shirt but underneath the pink striped shirt, I wore a gray vest. Like, well, no, no, no. Was it a gray vest? Well, I think it was a button-down. I think it was a, like a, a seersucker button-down vest. Black. Uh, or gray. I don't remember the colors right now. Then I wore this, like, gunmetal gray dress slacks with a two-tone. I'm talking fashion here. Um, it was a two-tone brown shoes. Now, they were two tones. One the t the and they were cap toe style. If you okay, if you're a dude, you need to learn how to dress. As far as uh, dressing uh, as a man should, when it, shirt and tie affair, and I had a black tie. But um, I also had what did I have? Oh man, Lord be with them. It look, this is, it looks like a pretty bad accident. Oh Father. Okay. Well, I had uh, what else? I had the flower. Oh. I had a fake bunny nose, a plastic fake bunny nose. And then I bobby pinned a I bobby pinned a tail, a cotton tail to my butt part butt portion of the uh, velour velvet uh, purple jacket. I was looking pretty fly. Okay, in the shoes, they were the, they were cap toes. The, the tip of the cap toe was dark brown and then the interior like the part of the sole middle part of the sole was like a really light brown leather but more malleable leather uh, more malleable leather i think the brand it was a kenneth cole style shoe amazing shoe if i can find that shoe again i'm gonna find it and i'm buy it so um everything was set i had an even number of invitations all right shade i had an even number of invitations um, everybody came, I had friends, mutual friends come, uh, they all started sending me pictures, people in downtown Disney thought I was a character, and I took pictures with tourists, 
I took pictures. That was pretty funny. And I, it was at the time that uh, Alice in Wonderland was coming out. So that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was an awesome event. I'm gonna put. I'm, I'm gonna use a thumbnail. Well, I'm gonna use a thumbnail uh, of that picture. I'm gonna try to use it as a thumbnail, but I gotta go and do that after, edit it after. But um, that was a really cool. And I think she she gave me props. A lot of my friends had fun, which uh, that was a second plus. But I think the reason why I really wanted to do it was because I wanted to get her attention more. Uh, get her attention more so really fun thing uh scavenger hunts awesome thing awesome thing so yeah she liked it too so you guys that's another story and there are some more stories later on in uh as far as uh how i met her so you guys like i said find me on twitter at outlet podcast on facebook uh, facebook.com backslash outlet podcast YouTube, comment below. Let me know what you think about this story. And uh, uh, I don't know. Were you entertained? Are we entertained? Are you? Oh, no. That, whatever. A gladiator, I think. So, yeah. On YouTube, comment below. Or That's all. That's pretty much it. You guys, my name's Gazy, host of the Outlet Podcast. Connect and recharge. <laughs>